Hello and welcome to my second video about enterprise integration patterns. Today we are gonna talk about splitter pattern. But before we start I would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel. Also in the description you can find a couple of Amazon affiliate links and buy me a coffee link where you can support my work if you really want to. There is also a github repo link where you can find all examples I showed in the previous videos. And this one of course. Ok, let's start. So the main question is where and when we use the splitter pattern. So we have the, a case where we want to process a message with multiple elements in it, which may have to be processed in a different way. Then we can use the splitter pattern to break out a message into series of individual messages, each re representing one item from original message. So for example you have a shopping cart application and you have 10 items in the shopping cart. So you want to process each uh, item from that uh, shopping cart in a different way. You can use the splitter pattern, separate them in the 10 individual messages and process them as you would like. Ok, now it's time for an example. So here's the actual example. As you can see, I created the one simple route for the splitter. Uh, the name is direct splitter example. After that we have the split. And in, in the split we have body tokenize with a comma. So we're gonna pass the list here. And we're gonna split the body, the list. And we're gonna split it using the comma separator right here. This could be any separator you want, uh, this or uh, the pipe, oh sorry, everything you want. So in, in this case I'm using the comma, so after that we're gonna, uh, for each item that is split, we're gonna log and send to mock. So we're gonna log a couple of things, uh, the three or, or four of these things are, could be found in the exchange property with the name uh, camel split index, camel split size and camel split complete. Uh, these are not mandatory to log but I just wanted to show what camel can uh, log from the split. So this is actually the index of the split. If there is uh, 10 items in the list that we passed right here, uh, we are going to have values from 0 to 9. Uh, for the size there, this will be always be 10 in our case because, because we are going to pass 10, 10 items. Completed will be false until the last item. So for the, when the last item is uh, splitted, we're going to get complete. Using this we can know when the actual uh, splitting is going to be done. And the bodies, of course, in the splitted values. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And after that, we're going to send that body to the split, mock split. And the end. This is the actual test. So we have test splitter. We're going to have route builder master split route. We're going to get mock and point, which is split. And we expect 10 messages to come on that mock endpoint. So we're gonna send an exchange using template with the body, uh, which is list of 10 elements, which is all strings, but in real life numbers. So we're gonna run the test now and we're gonna see the logs. Okay, test passed. We have some logs here. As you can see, we have split index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Size is always 10 because we sent 10 items. And completed is false until the last index. And the body is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So yeah, this would be it for this um, Example, you can find this code on the GitHub repo, which is linked in the description. Uh, thanks for for your attention. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye.